So in this question, we are given a vector A is 4.1 Newtons, okay, at 154 bearing, and vector B is 1.7 Newtons with a bearing of 312. And they tell us that vector C we find by taking vector A minus B. So we must go and find vector C. Okay, so first the thing we see is that there's a negative B. So we're going to have to take B, but in the opposite direction. But we'll get there in just a moment. Of course, we first need to find A. A is easy to find. We simply plot him by taking 154 degrees. There is 154 right there. So right there, we're going to make our little mark. 154 right there so connect that with our thin pencil sketch from the center through that point okay and on that line a must be 4.1 newtons okay that's what the n stands for for newtons and um, it's not important for you to know what that is just yet but you do need to understand that that is a vector okay so measuring 4.1 on here there is 4.1 right there so we take our nice distinctive green and here at 4.1 we make our dot 4.1 that's where we'll stop so there's our vector a and from this one's head we must put the tail of negative b so we'll first have to go and find b itself so let's put on there let's first find b and then you'll see what i'll do after that now b is 312 degrees so 312 degrees is more or less it's right around right around 310 11 12 so 312 degrees right there there it is so we make our line through that point a thin pencil sketch through that point and that would be the dire the direction of B however we don't want to go in that direction we want to go in the opposite direction so all I do is simply extend my line in the opposite direction so there we go it's still 312 but now in the opposite direction is actually only this part Okay, and on that line, instead of measuring 1.7 on this side, 1.7, we're going to measure 1.7 on this side. There we go. 1.7 will be right here. Right there is 1.7. That is our B. And now our resultant vector is from the beginning to the end. There we go. That's our resultant vector. Let's go and read off the magnitude and the direction of our resultant vector. To find the direction, place your protractor on it and go and read off the direction. We see the direction here seems to be about 147. More or less 147 is a good estimate. 147 degrees, that's the bearing. While the size or the magnitude would be it seems like about 57 itself 
So the magnitude would be 57, 57 newtons, while the bearing is 147 degrees. Cool.